uh, Hong Kong is obviously a very, very small uh, segment of the global markets, although, of course, it is part and parcel of the bigger uh, U.S.-China ongoing debate, which frankly has been front and center of global markets really since the middle of 2018 and the initial comments that we had regarding trade tariffs. And you know what? I I would expect to see a continuation of this U.S.-China tit-for-tat ongoing really until at least the U.S. election and probably beyond that. But I think markets have become a little bit more um, uh, realistic to the fact that this is a continued spat, which is not going to go away. Um, So long as we don't see any pushback from the phase one trade deal and suggestions are that is ongoing, I think markets will remain uh, very sensitive, but will actually remain uh, quite constructive going forward. So Hong Kong is, a, is, is, is an issue, obviously, if you are based in Hong Kong and if you are part of the, the Asia-Pac region. But if you're looking at markets from a global perspective, that is a smaller chunk of what is the ongoing Chinese-US spat, which I think most people have discounted by now. So unless we get a negative shock, I, I don't think that should have a, a, an adverse impact on markets at this point. Do I thought, do you think that markets right now are pricing in that trade tension escalation risk? Uh, probably not, actually, because I, I guess that, that there are a couple of drivers from the very beginning of the year. We actually went into, if we, if we just cast our minds back what seemed like a very, very long time ago, if we cast our minds back to around end of 2019, the early part of 2020, recall that markets were actually you know, very buoyant. Uh, this understanding that the phase one deal was going through actually gave us a pretty good run up in risk in Q4 and even at the very beginning of Q1 pre-COVID. I mean, COVID is a complete game, ch- game changer, obviously. So I think from a, the perspective of the trade tariffs and the, from the perspective of US-China trade, um, I think this is largely discounted that phase one will go through. If we were to get another spat on trade, And who knows, this may well be a strategy that President Trump may want to try and play before the election. That would have a negative impact because I think people now regard phase one as more or less a done deal. And certainly what we see from agricultural purchases coming out of China from the U.S., that seems to be ongoing. Um, So, so no, another trade spat is not really part of the equation right now. If we were to get that, I think that would be. Uh, that would be a negative for the markets. But I I see little sign of that as yet. 